What is going on geeks and gamers, Captain Alex here and today we are taking a look at the brand new wristwatch from Think Geek that is modeled after the Nintendo Game Boy. As you can see, I've got it right here. Um, so yeah, I found this thing on Think Geek, they tweeted it out a few days ago, it's a brand new item. As soon as I saw it, I knew I had to have it as a long time Nintendo fan, as well as just a fan of Nintendo uh, nostalgia, I knew I had to have this thing. Uh, so yeah, let's check it out. The first thing that you're going to notice is uh, that it is shaped like a Game Boy, um, but the packaging that it comes in or on says Nintendo Entertainment System LCD Watch. So I'm not really sure what's going on here. Um, it says Nintendo Entertainment System, which is the NES, as you've probably heard it abbreviated. Um, it is also the packaging is designed to look like a Nintendo Entertainment System. So nowhere on this packaging, on the front or the back, does it actually mention a Game Boy whatsoever. Um, so I'm a little bit confused about that. Don't really know what's going on there. Um, I don't know if they made a previous NES watch and kind of just used the same cardboard, or if this was just kind of some marketing slip up or mistake. I really don't know what's going on there. But as you can see, the watch is a Game Boy, not an NES. Onto the watch itself, uh, it is modeled exactly after the original gray Game Boy Color. It's even got the maroon buttons and the black D-pad. And honestly, just incredibly detailed. As you can see, uh, it says Nintendo Game Boy right there, just like it does on an actual Game Boy. It even has select and start really tiny on there. And even under that, it has uh, where it says phones, where you would uh, input your headphones on the bottom of the Game Boy. Even has the on-off markings up there. There's no switch up there. Um, as well as there's no phone input on the bottom. It is a watch, so it's kind of to be expected, but the level of detail for the front face of this is actually pretty incredible. All right, so let's go ahead and remove it from the cardboard and check it out. All right, so there we have our watch with our cardboard. Uh, behind the watch is a little instructions on how to set the time, it looks like. Yep, yeah, that's how we're going to set the time. Um, so it looks like when we set the time, we're going to hold down this uh, bottom button right here, and then we'll be able to change uh, the watch time on the face of the watch. Uh, if we push this uh, larger button in one time, it gives us, I believe that's our uh, what time our alarm is set for, and if we press it again, it starts a stopwatch. So there is actually a stopwatch as well as a regular watch function on here, which is pretty convenient. Um, it's multifunctional. The buttons on here are actually uh, pressable. They don't do anything, um, but they are pressable just to give you that extra little feel that it is a Game Boy. The wrist strap actually is a nice, smooth rubber. Now, um, it actually feels really nice. Let's go ahead and uh, I'll put it on so we can see what it looks like on a wrist. All right, so there we have the watch on my wrist. It actually feels really, really comfortable. Um, like I said, the rubber is pretty silky smooth. Um, it's got good flexibility. I don't really feel the watch digging into me or jabbing me at any point. Um, it is pretty thick. So if you're used to wearing a thin watch, um, this is gonna be a lot bulkier than that. I wear an Apple Watch um, with a thick case and I think even my Apple Watch is a little bit thinner than this. Uh, my biggest concern with that is that I might bang this against a door or get it caught on something just because it is so large. Um, and I'm not accustomed to wearing a watch that is this thick, but overall really really cool All right, so let's go ahead and flip it over and check out what is on the back All right, so I don't know if you guys can see this um, But I'm a little bit concerned because the back of this says Game Boy Color Now those of you who are Nintendo fans will know that this is not a Game Boy Color. This is a Game Boy that it's modeled after so to recap we have a Game Boy watch that came on a Nintendo Entertainment System NES piece of cardboard, but it's branded on the back as a Game Boy Color. So there's a bit of an identity crisis going on with this piece of merchandise. Um, that being said, it is modeled really well after a regular Game Boy. So just go into it knowing that even though it says NES and it says Game Boy Color on the back, it is in fact a Game Boy. All right, now that we have taken a pretty solid look at the Nintendo Game Boy Watch from ThinkGeek, I wanted to do something a little bit special and do a compare and contrast with 
an original Game Boy system. So as you can see on the left now, we have the Game Boy system and on the right, we have the replica Game Boy Watch. So a little few comparisons. Um, as you can see, we got the maroon buttons on both labeled B and A. Uh, we also got select and start on both of them, both of them labeled uh, the watch really down to the finest detail says it down there, which is pretty, uh, pretty impressive. We got a black D-pad on both. It says Nintendo Game Boy below uh, the screen on each of them. The only thing missing uh, that is on the system that's not on the watch is this little trademark right here that's not on the watch. Uh, but we even have the battery light. It's uh, printed on green on the screen on the watch. Obviously, the console is off, so it's not glowing green on the console. Uh, it doesn't say battery on this uh, on the watch screen just because it is pretty tiny. Um, but we even have the uh, maroon and blue lines on both watch face and game uh, system face. The only thing it doesn't say is dot matrix with stereo sound. I imagine that's a pretty small thing that they'd have to fit onto that watch. So it says off and on up here. Uh, it says off and on on the watch. Down here it says phones and it says phones on the watch as well. But as you can see, this is a really, really faithful replica of the Nintendo Game Boy system that you can wear on your watch. Uh, it's definitely something that I will be wearing anytime I go to a Nintendo event, a uh, video gaming event, just for that really cool look of nostalgia, as well as just uh, representing my Nintendo pride and heritage. That's it for this review. Thanks for checking out my videos. If you like what you saw, please go ahead and click that subscribe button and check out my channel for more reviews, as well as gameplay and other fun Nintendo themed videos. Thanks for watching guys, and I will see you next time.